Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. It's Polyester here and well we've had another potential leak in the Saw Chapter DLC coming out. Look away if you don't want to know any of this stuff. But um, we've had a leak which may lead us to the identity of the survivor that goes along in this Jigsaw DLC chapter. And I'm going to talk about that now. So if you want to be surprised and don't want to know about any of this stuff, look away. This is all speculation. It's just a, a photo that was leaked off on Reddit. Might be something, might be nothing. I'm going to show it to you here and you can decide. But take this for a grain of salt. But it, there's a, a possibility that this is real. So we're going to go through with it. Um, you may remember in my video yesterday that there was a leak of what was supposed to be the jigsaw killer's power called this jigsaw's baptism and it talks about the details of the power here i'm not going to go through that again you can watch the other video if you want to hear about that um and when i looked closer at the photo i noticed that there were perks in behind this text that talks about the reverse bear traps that I, was, I said oh we've never seen those perks before so I lightened the photo and sure enough in the top row here the second perk looks like a scales and in the bottom row the one on the left looks like a silhouette of a person with a pig head over the top of them and then something down below looks mechanical anyway so that led me to believe there was a, a bit of legitimacy beyond just somebody photoshopping this entire power description. And that leads us to believe that the killer in this scenario is Amanda Young. And you'll remember that Amanda had was Jigsaw's first survivor, one, first one to pass her test with the reverse bear trap. And then she went on to become baptized by John Kramer and become one of her disciples and take over his work as he got ill. And she um, assumed the role as the disciple with the pig head and the kidnappings and things like that. And then people will say, well, Jigsaw never actually killed anybody, so this is a dumb chapter. Jigsaw's not actually a killer. But from what I understand, in Amanda's role, she cheated and her tests were unpassable. She made um, un inescapable traps, which would certainly kill people, which would definitely qualify her as a killer and fit into the lore of the game, in my opinion. Anyway, now, after all that, we'll go on and show you this picture of the leaked survivor, supposedly unofficial. And here it is. Detective David Tapp, an obsessed detective, which kind of fits in with tenacity. He has that grit, know that doesn't know how to quit. Tenacity fits with him. A lot of people thought it was going to be Lawrence Gordon because he cut off his foot. But Danny Glover's character, Detective Tapp, does do some crawling of his own in the movie. So, um, honestly, this was my first choice. It was my first choice of, uh, of Survivor. A lot of people said, hey, we need to mix up our racial diversity here, too, and we need an African-American man, so this fits that bill. Is this real? I have no idea, you guys. Like, This is just a, a photo that one of my uh, YouTube commenters gave me the heads up on and said, go check this out and do a video on it, so that's what I'm doing right now. So if this is real, I'm really happy with this chapter. Amanda and David Tapp were some of my picks for the one-two punch on who would be killer and survivor. This whole power description, the way the mechanic is going to work sounds great. There are a lot of questions about this um, that aren't quite clear, but they just need some fleshing out uh, to describe to us. So it's still plausible. There are reasons here that people think this isn't real because of the implausibility of some of the stuff like as far as you could leave a, a dying survivor on the ground with a bear trap and you don't need the hooks but I thought well maybe you need to maybe they need to go through the test first before they can be hooked so perhaps she can't hook anybody until 
they've gone through the test with the bear trap and then after that then she can hook them and maybe that's why she has this hangman's trick perk just to protect her hooks because a strategy against her while everybody was is doing their um, their test with the bear traps would be to 99% sabo hooks against her and then by the time she would get to the mold where people have passed their test and gotten the reverse bear trap off then people could drop hooks on her because they'd have enough time to have prepped them so that would be a way for her to protect her hooks to use them in the end game anyway I don't know there's a lot of questions about this like if you get left on the ground with the reverse bear trap on your head and somebody does a gen does your timer start going does your timer only start going when when you do a generator yourself um, if if your timer starts going and you're left on the ground with the trap on your head do you get like a boost of adrenaline because the ticking of the timer gets you up so that you can go start looking for your key are there are there multiple keys some that work some that don't work and can do you have to swap out your item in your hand to get your key out of a jigsaw puzzle box do um, can you hoard keys for other players there's a lot of questions about this but it sounds the idea sounds really cool I hope this is correct who knows uh, I look forward to the chapter regardless but the identities here of the killer and the survivor if correct they make me very happy I'm I'm quite eager for the chapter as I know all of you are I like this I I'm, wasn't a Lawrence Gordon fan I know Lawrence Gordon seemed to be the on the nose for crawling character but I'm I'm glad that it isn't him so we'll see what happens what do you guys think does detective tap make it a better chapter for you a worse chapter would is there someone else you would have rather seen I've given you my opinion there's no right or wrong answer obviously uh, these two here they, that makes my day so that's all I've got for you today have a good one take care of each other we'll see you next time and bye bye